Well, that was it. If you didn't see my other videos, check that out. If you didn't see my Transformer review, check that out. And you're gonna make sure you guys see the others right there. I mean, I never got the review. Titan Changer. Because he wouldn't fit in my camera. So that was it. Sizzling in my hot wings. Ooh, what is up my hot wings? And today, I will be reviewing Transformers Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. And there he is, and I do not have the packaging. The only thing I have is So there he is. Here's Megatron in his tank form, and I like his tank mode very much. I mean, I am a big fan of this mold. And he looks good. He looks good to me, in my opinion. <coughs> I mean, like, the main issue of everyone is the spike. I do, even, I do not even care. So let's take a look. Details. Here's the trades. Painted in black. Size is painted in gray. And those cogs are painted in copper. Same thing on the other side. They painted the. They turn it gray. It could take a light. Cut up. Up and down. And visible heads. Done it. Yeah, I really like, I really like this. All top part is not painted. I wish they would. On the side, copper, and black tread, and copper. There's copper on the, these panels right there. And then, And then here at the bottom. That's everything in the They're all very small. So there you have nuts. Here it is with Prime. They scare one another. Alright, that is it for for Megatron, so let's go. Let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first things you want to do, you want to take the shin pieces right there and just bring them around. Bring them around by a double hinge. And then you want to take. You want to untap the legs. You can see there's a. And that goes into that sl that goes into that slot. So bring that down. Oh my god, that's very long left. And then you want to take this section and then bring this down. And he has very long legs. So you want to rotate, rotate, rotate. And then you want to take. It's on a slide, so you want to slide it down and then bring this up by a double hinge. And then this piece, just raise this up and then, and then we'll bring this up and then bring your huge spur down. And then you want to take this piece, bring it down. And now you have a Lego done. So go guys, slam it first. I want to slide it that way. Bring it up. Take this hinge. Bring this up. Bring it down. Bring this piece down. And now you have the legs all done. I don't think I can raise this up. That's how high I can go. I have a main issue. I mean, like, he's gonna. He's gonna really tall. Uh, let's 
go through the upper part here. So you want to take this whole top section, just bring this up, and then and then take the arms, just bring it out, just bring it out, and then you can. Come on. Let's bring this out. And then what you want to do with the legs is you want to make your trans cat really tall and then you want to bring this in by a double hinge. Bring this in by a double hinge. He's a big boy. You want to bring the head down. And then take the turn it, fold this in, take this piece, fold that in, and someone interrupted should shut my door. Sorry. Sorry I didn't mean to say that. It's just a random thing I said. Alright. <laughs> just fold this down, and then once you've done that, you want to bring this in out of the way. And then, there's a, there's a tab right there and it goes into that slot. So, this could be in the pain, but. I mean, I got to... Oh, I hate when that camera falls. Tap this in. And the last thing to do here. No, make your turn. You want to rotate. You want to rotate the cannon. And take this other one. You son of a... And there you go. There you have Megatron. He is roll. But Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just bring the as what you want to do. Oh yeah, I forgot one more. No, we're not done yet. You want to split the treads to make this fit. Keep forgetting the splits. There you have that. And Megatron, he's a pretty good leader. I mean, like, for a guy like me, like, he looks pretty evil. Now let's take a look at the head sculpt. And you can see he's got red eyes. And the chest is painted in copper. And his arm. There's no pain in it except the, like the cannon. He's painted in gunmetal gray. Everything's molded perfectly. Now the legs, the top, they look, they have a pretty good detail. It's like the same details as the, t as the tank, so n no worries. He's painted in gray, and the arms no painted. And the T4. Painted in copper for some reason. And the backpack, the jet, the jetpacks are painted in gum middle gray. And there you have that. I mean, like now for articulations wise, I wish someone would hold a camera for me, but he, he can bend under. Oh yeah, one thing about the. With the cannon is you could take out his blade. I forgot to take a look at the details of the blade. So there he is. He's got a big blade he has. Oh holy cow. That is very, very awesome. Articulations wise, it does bend. And I wish I had some holder though. You already know. 360. He can do kickbacks. If you. He can kick back. 
yeah, there, happy now. And then, and that's basically it.